One of the easiest ways to create a seamless looking stop motion video is to make sure that your exposure matches from frame to frame in the photos that you shoot. So Lightroom has made this really, really easy for those of us looking to create stop motion videos. I create them for my food channel. Um, of course, stop motion picture is stop motion picture, but here's a surprisingly quick little trick that Lightroom makes tremendously simple. You can see that I pulled in all of these images. The light was blinking back and forth and though I was watching as I was shooting and though I was watching my exposure on my camera and trying to match it from photo to photo, um, I still ended up with dramatically different lighting. Um, we went from very bright to very dark. So um, whether you're having natural lighting issues like I had today, or whether there are just minor differences from frame to frame, and you had steady light, but um, maybe you stood in different places and shadowed different spots of your photo, here's how to match every single image to the same essential exposure. And this is truly one of the fastest ways that I have learned to kind of game up um, my stop motion, um, because instead of going through every image and trying to visually retool and match the exposure, which can be an incredibly time consuming process. Um, all you have to do is find an image that you're happy with. So I've added a preset to all of these and I'm really happy with the way that this image came out. It's about what I was looking for. So I'm gonna go here to my library. Again, all of these pictures have been imported and the preset has been applied. Um, so you want to get at least your images into your library. And then I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to select any of the other images that I want to match. So there are a few ahead. And a, oops, sorry, I pushed the wrong button. There are a few ahead and then a few down here that I need to add to my list as well. You'll notice that this primary image is selected with like a darker white than everything else and that's because Lightroom is going to remember that that is the kind of target image. So we're going to go up here to photo and then hidden here under develop settings you'll see a match total exposures and what that is going to do is take all of those other images and match the essential exposure to the one on the first image that I selected. So you can see kind of all of these images starting to employ that exposure match. It takes a few seconds. And now when I go in, um, most of the editing, the exposure editing has been done. Now I have found that one or two will still have to be custom tinted. Um, some of the images in this area got really dark. And so um, I will probably need to go in and just custom tint, fix the um, highlights here and there. But um, that match total exposures here under the photo section is the fastest way to make most of your images for match for a stop motion video. Give it a try, and uh, if, you, if this works for you, I'd love to have you post your video on Instagram and tag me in it at Cheeky Kitchen. I'll see you around.